thanks for clicking on the video. Today I'm back on the coast. If it all goes to plan, we'll end up within the next 10, 15, 20 minutes with something to eat. What do I mean? Crabs. Let's go. This is what we've got. Ended up with about, I think there's about eight or nine here. Handled about 20 or 30, lots of small ones, lots of small females. But I think we've got plenty here to cook up. Just like the last video, I'm not gonna keep all of them because that would be a bit unfair. You don't wanna take everything when you're out there. I'm only gonna keep two, maybe three actually. I'm not too sure, but the majority of these will go back. I've just measured them all. All of them, apart from one, are big enough to keep. This one is too small. So this one, I'm gonna cannonball straight back into the sea. To kill these, what you do is you hit them against a rock, the shell pops off, they die instantly. And then it's a matter of just cleaning them up, take off the mouth, take off these dead man's fingers, which are these, these kind of like, um, yeah, they're just dead man's fingers. And then to clean out his gut sack, pull the back off, and you'll see all of that nasty stuff. You don't want that. Quick shake, quick rinse. There we are, ready to cook. Okay, so we're cooking these a slightly different way today. There's a bit of oil and some ginger in here. Just warming up the ginger to bring out the flavor and then the rest of the ingredients will be added. Smells incredible.
Okay, moment of truth. Any good? <laughs> moment of truth. It smells incredible. It looks incredible. Real nice broth. Just from looking at it, it looks real nice, full of flavour, but oh my god, that is incredible! And the tofu as well. Let's try this. Yeah, you're right. But the white pepper. There's a little bit of that. Is it like a Chinese chicken stock? Uh, a bit in a powder form. Super tasty. Oh, and then the crab, just bringing it all together. Oh, that is just so tasty. I'll tell you what, I just want this to cool down a bit so I can just slurp on the whole lot. <laughs> One thing that I really think is a great idea, and it's what Chef did. Chef. <laughs> Before putting the crab in, she cracked the claws and a lot of the legs. So it really allowed that infusion of flavor to get inside and really flavor that meat, which is already lovely and sweet. But I'll tell you what, I'm blown away by the flavours, by the by the stock, the broth. So I said there's two types of tofu in here. One is a very firm tofu, one is a very soft. And um, to be honest, I think I prefer the firm one because it's got a bit more of a bite to it. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do me a massive favour. Press the subscribe button. Don't forget to give it a like. And uh, if you like this sort of thing, or if you can suggest other food or other ways of cooking a crab, especially using this, this well, I didn't really mention it. This is a Afghan pressure cooker designed for a fire. If you've got any ideas of what I can cook in that, whether it's meat or crab, let me know. Drop the recipe down in the comment section below. I'm gonna go down there, wash my hands. See you in the next video. Goodbye.